What's going on guys, Twiggy Timber Outdoors, and today I want to talk about uh, what makes a great uh, Great Lakes steelhead uh, fly fishing rod. Now, if you choose to fly fish, uh, you know, center pin fish or spin fish for steelhead in the Great Lakes, uh, there are a few things you want to concern yourself with when choosing a rod. Um, now typically, uh, we're not going to swing too many streamers in some of the smaller creeks, and so we're going to be doing quite a bit of nymphing, whether it be with a float uh, strike indicator or bobber, uh, or it might be nymphing. I know around where I guide, it is quite a bit uh, Euro style nymphing. And so you're going to need different gear uh, to be the most advantageous to you in different situations. So, for example, if I am nymphing, one of the best things I like to use when I'm nymphing is you want a rod that is extremely uh, fast, uh, in this case, uh, with a lot of backbone, but also a really sensitive tip. And so what I found is, typically also, I want to go a little longer than 9 foot, but you can get away with a 9 foot rod in most circumstances here in western New York and in, P in Erie, PA. And so what I like, I've been using recently, is a the Diamondback Flex. Um, this is a 7 weight. You can go in from Lake, for a Lake Erie steer, steelhead, 6, 7, 8 weight. Typically um, will do you just fine. Uh, six weight's a little light, eight weight might be a little overkill. I like the seven. Uh, nine foot is this rod, but I prefer a rod a little longer in most cases, um, except for the last couple streams and videos I've been posting. It's pretty tight quarters, so nine foot does this just fine. Also helps you to land fish yourself when fishing solo. Uh, and, and the reason you want a fast uh, rod with a, with a nice snappy uh, backbone and, and sensitive tip is because if, as you're feeling along the bottom and you feel that, that take, you want to be able to set the hook with no slack. So you can't, you can't have too much play in the rod. You want it to have a nice, firm, stiff backbone so that whenever you set the hook, okay, it does bury into that fish's uh, mouth. And also, uh, having a little bit of strong backbone to be able to play the fish, considering there's it's typically when you're nymphing holes and things, uh, there are quite a bit of rock bodies around that they can break you off on, and so you may need to horse the fish a little bit, and having a stiff uh, rod does help you do that. Now, one thing that I've noticed is this past weekend I've also used I've got another nice rod. This is a Max Catch Ultra Glass. This is a six weight, um, and this is a, an eight foot six, but I also prefer longer rods, like I said. Uh, I did the same type of fishing with that, and using fiberglass uh, is advantageous in some circumstances, but for nymphing it's not. Now, I, just, this, I had this rod in my car, and so uh, I wanted to put a fish on it and see what happened. And one thing you're going to notice is when fishing rods like bamboo or fiberglass, you don't quite have that hook set power uh, that you need whenever you don't have uh, that much room to move. You need to set the hook a lot harder and higher, and then uh, work that line back into the reel if you've, if you've pulled some to, to gain uh, the distance advantage there. Now, glass and bamboo are great for swinging or for uh, particularly dry flies, which you can't catch fish on here in New York, uh, but I prefer a nice, fast, uh, and stiff graphite rod when uh, fishing for steelhead. Not to mention, for the most part, now you can find them along the same price points, um, but graphite will typically, in most reputable companies, uh, be a little cheaper for you. So that's my two cents. If you're going to swing, then you can get away with fiberglass, bamboo, or graphite. Uh, I would still recommend, though, that for an all-around rod, anything 9 to 10 foot, uh, maybe 11 foot, in a graphite that's fast action, uh, in a 7 weight, will probably do you just fine in uh, the Great Lakes for steelhead. Um, now that being said, uh, Lake Superior and Ontario fish can get quite a bit in Huron too a bit bigger, so an 8 weight uh, might be better for you than a 7, but that's just my two cents. Hopefully this helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with others, and until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side. Tight lines and we're out.